Hello everyone. Today let's look at uh, uh, example learning. Is uh, new skills used in machine learning, especially for the decision trees. This is an old story for blind men and an elephant. They were asked to touch an elephant to describe what elephant uh, is. The first man touched the, the elephant's nose and he said, Oh, the elephant is like a big snake. The other man was holding the elephant's one leg and he said, Actually, no, it's a tree stump. The other man said, touched the, the ears of the elephant, said, What are you saying? It's like a hinge of the leather. It's just like a big fun. The other man touched the tail of the elephant. He said, You are wrong. It's actually like a little fiery mouth. Or it's like a rope. Different people describe an elephant as the different thing, but if we can example them, their description together, and it's more accurate of an elephant. So this is the example learning. For the example learning, it can be divided into two techniques. The first is called bagging. The data can be divided into several buckets, uh, and we call them sample buckets. And uh, for each sample bucket, we train them using simple machine learning algorithm with the models. And uh, after that, we calculate an average model for it. That's one technique. The other one is called boosting. For the data, first we find the best model to train it, and then for the wrong samples, we use another better model to train it. Using these techniques uh, several times, and uh, at last we get a better model. So this is called boosting. From the name, we can understand that bagging, we can think uh, for the whole data sets. We just use some bags to hold a sample into a buckets, just like a uh, bagging for the whole data sets. For the big boosting, we just uh, gradually uh, use a better model to train it. For the backing, the basic techniques, we call it bootstrap. It means random sampling with replacement. For the whole population, uh, we get uh, one sample population, just randomly choose uh, the samples from the whole population. And uh, for the Say, uh, then we choose another population too. But we can uh, notice that uh, for one sample atom, it randomly pick up into population one and it's most also uh, be put into the population two. So this means that one sample, if is retrieved from the population into the buckets, it can still be put back and uh, to then to be put into the another bucket. The typical algorithm for the bagging is uh, called a random forest. For the whole data test sample inputs, is uh, put into a bunch of the buckets. In the red picture, we put into 600 buckets. And for each one, we use decision tree algorithm to train it. And then uh, for each tree, we can get a prediction. And if we predict a, a sample, then we can aggregate all the predictions to be the final results. So this is the random forest prediction. For the boosting techniques, boosting can be divided into several algorithm used. The first one is uh, either boost. 
Uh, the other one is uh, gradient boosting. Gradient boosting is uh, just the tactics. It's uh, just uh, I like the what we shown in the previous picture that I gradually uh, improve the model accurate rate. So GBDT, that's gradient boosting decision tree, is using the gradient boosting techniques into the decision tree. Uh, then it can it can divide uh, or uh, generate two new algorithm. One is XG boost, the other is light GBM. Now let's use some story to understand what those algorithms are. We sometimes get sick, so we go to see the doctor. The doctor will ask you, do you cough? Do you have a headache? Do you have a high fever? Using these phenomena, the doctor can decide if you just need a rest or you need to do more experiments to see what's the problem you got. So we can see the doctor is just uh, like a decision tree. Another hospital think this uh, doctor may be not efficient to help uh, deal with the patient's problem. So they use the group decision. They found uh, several uh, very famous doctors and uh, then each doctor have their decision tree to judge what the problem the patient is. And then uh, at last, aggregate all their decisions and uh, I, uh, make it as the final results. So this is the random forest algorithm. Another hospital see, may see that, uh, oh, you, I think those uh, need a lot of uh, doctors, maybe it's not the best way. So they want to improve this uh, workflow. So they want one patient to see the doctors one by one. Uh, the first uh, doctor, uh, they always choose the best uh, doctor. Then the first doctor see the uh, see the patients and then decide. Then, uh, based on the doctor's uh, shortcoming, uh, we find another best doctors to t uh, test the patient's problem again. And based on the second doctor's shortcoming, we find another doctors. Uh, using these tactics, uh, with several doctors improve the accuracy of the patient's uh, disease. So this is the boosting. Another method to see the back doctors uh, is uh, that uh, for the first doctor, when they have the patients, the first doctor may have uh, weakest points. So we find the best uh, doctors who can handle this uh, worst facet of the first doctor uh, to uh, be the second one to treat the patients. You can see this is a more efficient way to find the best doctors. This technique is called gradient boosting. Another hospital see that uh, the uh, main workflows already settled, so they want to, to find if there is a better way to handle the patients. They want to increase the efficiency. So they change the workflow. The doctors can be treat the patients more faster, and uh, they also upgrade the facilities so they can uh, usually uh, the patients use uh, one day to see other uh, doctors in the hospitals but in this new uh, hospital it may just need one hour so it's use uh, one tenth time 
uh, to deal with the patients. So that's the uh, SD boost algorithm. Now the, there's a trend of the big data. So we use robots, robots to replace those doctors. Now the robot doctors, they are much faster and they have collected many decision trees and have much better decisions based on the big data and uh, they are even much faster than previous SD boost. So they didn't uh, increase uh, the accuracy, they just uh, make it uh, much faster, much more efficient. So this is a light GBM algorithm. I hope you can understand all the relationship between all those algorithms in the ensemble learning. Thank you.